From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. I'm Mike Fussell sitting in for J.R. Lewis. In the news, the Alaska Permanent Fund Corporation has committed to hearing investment pitches from companies and projects working on ways to address climate change. Valerie Mertz, the corporation's acting CEO, says the corporation committed to hearing investment opportunities of up to $200 million. But any investments would have to be in line with the corporation's portfolio goals, return requirements, and other restrictions. She says it's possible the corporation doesn't invest anything or could invest more. And Fairbanks City Council members are moving on an ordinance sponsored by David Pruse that would take away the mayor's leave time and benefits and give the position a pay raise to salary instead. This is less than a month after the mayor's compensation benefits were cut during a previous city council meeting. Members agreed to amend the ordinance and raise the mayor's salary to $86,500 and passed it forward for voting when the city council meets next. And even though the price of fuel has dropped with winter right around the corner, it's a good time to think about energy efficiency. This was the main theme yesterday at the weekly Chamber of Commerce luncheon. An official from Alaska Energy Authority told the audience that investment now in upgrades for homes and businesses could mean a big saving for residents. Rather than waiting until the projected deadline of 2017, projected date that is, for natural gas to come to the interior. The guest speaker wanted to ensure the public that there were programs available for residents to finance their conversion to natural gas. All right, time now for a quick look at weather. Current conditions are up on your screen. Today, 37 and partly cloudy. Tonight, the numbers will dip down to 20. Tomorrow, you'll see increasing clouds with highs at 32. The extended forecast is mostly cloudy with highs in the 30s and low 40s. The aurora forecast is active at a 4. And that's about all we have for right now. We're glad you could join us. Don't forget to sign up for our breaking news text alerts and have a good day.